Bhavin Shinkor, and I am joined today by my colleague Bhavin. We are both product managers in the cloud networking team, and we are excited to take you through a deep dive of NCC Gateway for managed SCC insertion, which is a key use case for Google Cloud WAN. Built on Google's Planet Scale network, Cross Cloud Network consolidates bespoke networks that enterprises have for building multi cloud distributed applications delivering these applications over the internet to end customers. And finally, what's new and the focus here is CloudWAN, which connects employees to public and private applications. Google Cross Cloud Network is an open platform with rich ecosystem of partners that simplifies connectivity, optimizes application experience, and offers best in cloud security, all while lowering total cost of ownership. Google Cloud WAN is a fully managed global WAN solution that allows businesses to simply and securely connect users to public and private apps across diverse environments, including internet, cloud, and data centers. It leverages Google's global private network and provides a broad set of connectivity solutions, including with our partners. With built-in security, Google Cloud WAN is secure by default. Our high-performance global private network helps deliver up to 35% improved application experience. Additionally, by consolidating multiple WAN and MPLS solutions, customers can realize significant TCO savings. Now let's get into our deep dive topic. We have seen a surge in SSE adoption, driven by increased SaaS usage and the growth of remote work accelerated by a pandemic. Securing a hybrid workforce is complex. Many enterprises use different security stacks to secure access to SaaS and private apps. On-premises deployments typically follow two types of models. First is of distributed enterprises, where branches connect directly to SaaS and private apps using on-prem firewalls for internet security. The second model is a co-location-based architecture, shown on the left side of the slide. Here, regional branches aggregate traffic in a co-location facility using SD-WAN headends or VPN concentrators, with firewalls securing user traffic. In both of these models, on-premises traffic is secured by firewalls. However, remote users often connect via an SSC service, which also provides security controls. This disparity leads to inconsistent security enforcement for hybrid employees that split their time between home and office. Remote users experience higher latency when accessing private apps in cross-cloud environments. This also creates operational burden for security administrators who must manage separate security solutions for on-prem and remote user access. On the other hand, SSC providers run into scale and reliability challenges for high bandwidth on-prem traffic due to deployment complexity and the operational overhead of managing large number of encrypted tunnels to private apps. Rapid cloud adoption necessitates simplified cloud-delivered security, not forcing traffic through on-prem networks. There is a growing need for consistent security and controls across cloud, on-prem, and SaaS apps. To address this, we are launching NCC Gateway which enables managed SSE insertion on traffic from hybrid connections such as Interconnect, SD-WAN, and VPN. Our vision is to help customers consolidate their secure access controls on SSE for both remote and on-prem users. This will bring three key benefits to enterprises. First, enterprises can establish a unified security stack for all users. Second, Enterprises can enhance application performance by bringing branch traffic over private connections like Interconnect to CloudWAN for high bandwidth, cloud-native SSE inspection. Third, the enterprises can realize TCO savings by reducing colo to multi-cloud connectivity spend and shifting from cost to a consumption-based model. There are three main use cases that NCC Gateway will enable. First, high bandwidth on-ramp for branch users. NCC Gateway simplifies this with high-performance 10 to 100 gig interconnect on-ramp, ensuring optimal application performance. Once the traffic is inspected and allowed, it reaches its destination optimally. For SaaS, Google's premium tier network sends it to the best peering location. Second use case is for off-ramp to private applications. 
Post SSC inspection, traffic is handed to NCC Gateway to route it to apps in any region over our backbone. Since our backbone is fully encrypted, no overlay encryption is required. If the private app is in another cloud, traffic is sent over cross-cloud interconnect for optimal performance. Third, application-initiated internet access. This use case enables enterprises to leverage SSE stack to secure communications initiated by applications to the internet. Applications may be hosted in the cloud or data center environments. With that, I'll hand it over to Bhavan. Thanks, Gunshin. So I would like to walk you through a demo of NCC Gateway. But before I do that, let me dive into the specifics of NCC Gateway, its functionality, the new resources that we are adding, and the setup requirements. NCC Gateway is a regional product packed with SLA for uptime. It is going to be a managed spoke of network connectivity center, which is NCC, where the customers can directly terminate their interconnect attachment from on-prem or cross-cloud networks. For managed third-party SSE insertion on NCC Gateway, customer needs to configure Secure Access Connect and attach it to NCC Gateway. Secure Access Connect is a logical resource that establishes trust and instantiates the underlying connectivity with the SCC stack. In order to operate NCC Gateway, customers need to enable hybrid inspection, a new type of preset topology on Network Connectivity Center. This setup enables SSE security for private applications, public applications, as well as Google APIs. At the launch of NCC Gateway, customers can onboard third-party SSE solutions from Palo Alto Networks and Broadcom. This slide illustrates how hybrid inspection model is designed for robust security and traffic segmentation. We employ a structured approach securing both external and internal communication. Central to this is the use of spoke groups to create isolated traffic zones. First, Gateways Group act as a security checkpoint managing all external network interactions. NCC Gateway will be associated with the Gateways Spoke Group. Next, Services, which provides centralized shared resources accessible across all the groups. Then, we have Prod Spoke Group representing mission-critical applications rigorously isolated from your non-prod groups. And finally, non-prod, which houses test and development environments safely separated from production. This multi-layered structure ensures secure and controlled traffic flow. For this demo, we are going to showcase two use cases. Use case one is high bandwidth on-ramp for on-prem branch user to access internet with SSE inspection. And in the second use case, we will demonstrate how an on-prem user is able to access private application over Google Backbone post SSE inspection. Now, throughout the demo, you shall see terminals with separate colors. And so here's the legend for it. On-prem branch user will be in red terminal. NCC Gateway, Cloud Router, Secure Access Connect, and all the Google Cloud side of configurations will be in the blue terminal for CLI. SEC stack is going to be in the green terminal, and the private application in the VM sitting inside the VPC is going to be in the yellow terminal. Let's look at the first use case where an on-prem branch user wants to access internet post SEC inspection. In this scenario, Branch users have no local internet connectivity or breakout. They only have private connectivity over interconnect to Google Cloud. And for verification of traffic flow from on-prem branch user to internet via the NCC inspection, we will show you a successful ping from branch user's private IP address to a public IP address of 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And we will also capture real-time traffic flow and bandwidth on the SAC stack itself using Linux command of iftop. Now, let's get into the demo for this. And this is going to be a CLI-based demo. So let's look at the red terminal. That is for the on-prem branch user terminal. 
you can see that the pings to a public IP 8.8.8 .8 are failing at this time. Look at the blue terminal. This is where we'll start the configuration on the Google side. So in the Google side, first, we need to configure the hybrid inspection preset topology on network connectivity center. So let's start the configuration. Then create NCC gateway and attach it as a spoke to NCC. While creating NCC gateway, customer has to allocate region, the NCC hub, spoke group of gateway, allocate a reserved IP range for NCC gateway infrastructure, and also select the capacity of NCC gateway. And in this case, we are taking it 10 Gbps. Next, configure secure access connect realm that is used to identify the specific SSE provider. Configure secure access connect attachment and associate it to NCC gateway to establish that trust and connectivity with the SSE partner. Now create cloud router for NCC gateway, which is a BGP speaker on Google Cloud used for establishing BGP session between NCC Gateway and on-prem branch user over interconnect. Also configure custom route advertisement of 8.8.8 .8 .8 IP address on cloud router to on-premises. Now the configuration on Google side is complete. So let's go back and check the pings on the red terminal if they are successful or not. Now, in order to actually verify that the traffic flows through the SSE stack, we are going to run if top a Linux utility command that will display a real-time list of network connections and the amount of bandwidth that is being used. Note in the SSE stack terminal that the IP 100.64.4.5 is the internal IP of the SSE stack where we are capturing network traffic destined for 8.8.8. .8. As you can see in the on-prem branch user terminal, the pings are successful now. And on the green terminal of SAC stack, if top command is displaying an output of network connections and associated bandwidth in real time, which is showing private IP address of 192.168.1.2, that's of an on-prem branch user, and the destination public IP of 8.8.8, .8 which is on the internet. Now let's go over the second use case of branch user trying to access a private app hosted in Google Cloud. For the verification of this use case, we will run some curl test from on-prem branch user to a private app on VM instance, which is listening on port 8080 in the production VPC network. And again, to capture the traffic flow in real time, we will run if top command on the SSE stack to show you the flow. So let's look at the demo. In this setup, customer needs to associate the VPC network to prod spoke group of hybrid inspection preset topology. Once done, configure your cloud router associated with the NCC gateway to advertise the VPC network CIDR range to on-premises. With NCC spoke list command, you can now see there are two spokes attached to NCC. One is the VPC network spoke associated to NCC in the prod spoke group. And then there is NCC gateway, which is associated to the gateway spoke group. The final configuration to establish bi-directional connectivity is to advertise on-prem routes from NCC gateway towards NCC hub to attract traffic from private app VM towards NCC gateway and then forward it to on-premises. Now that the configuration is completed, let's look at the IP address of private app VM. As you can see, it is 192.168.10.2. For the purposes of this demo, we have enabled HTTP server running on port 8080 on the private app VM. To verify if it's actually working and listening on the same port, we ran a local curl test. Now to verify that the traffic from on-prem is able to reach the private app VM via SSE inspection, we are running curl command on the red terminal, which is for your on-prem branch user, to the private app destination IP of 192.168.10.2, listening on port 8080 and capturing real-time network traffic flow metrics on SSE stack 
with the if top utility. As you can see, the curl request is now successful and on the SSE stack, we can see the network connections with the source IP of on-prem 192.168.1.2 and the destination IP of private app, which is 192.168.10.2 along with the associated bandwidth. Thank you everyone for learning more about NCC Gateway. We invite you to learn more about cross-cloud network solutions and so you can use this QR code for quick access to the site. Thank you again for watching. <music>